and what types of homes are selling now, which, which is interesting. I, I know you can probably speak better to this, but the, the style of home that people are after right now is not what it was a few years ago. Can, can you speak to that a little bit, Wendy? Well, it really depends on uh, where the house is located. It seems that a lot of people are downsizing and going to smaller homes, but it also seems like the people that are moving outside of the city limits or into a much more uh, open area, that they're going bigger. They tend to go bigger because they're looking for that home office and that fourth bedroom. So we're, we're seeing that as a, as a big difference. One of the things that um, I think is really interesting, this event that I'm at, this Dealmaker 2020, there uh, was a whole day yesterday of speakers that were talking all about unique properties, short-term rentals, and smaller properties. There's one girl in particular, her name is Lisa Engelhart, and she is she has a program that she is doing where she has already put together a um, the floor plans for what she calls teeny house and a teeny weeny house. Now the teeny house is a 600 square foot house. The teeny weeny house is 300 square feet or less. So so uh, and she's being really successful in what she's doing. She's putting them everywhere. Of course, it has to be in an area where she's allowed to put two units on one lot. Um, but what that just seems like the recurring theme here at this event is people building smaller homes that, you know, a thousand square feet and less is becoming more and more popular. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's very interesting. So, and then you see people who are searching for those homes and usually trying to escape high rents, like mm -hmm. high rental areas, and they're going to go after these type of homes, uh, and they're they're migrating from, like you know, let's say, the downtown Charlotte area, and moving more into uh, you know, more more rural of, of York County or or um, Cabarrus County, which of those are surrounding counties. Uh, even Gaston County. And then we see people moving into, uh, was it Lancaster County? Um, I it's, see a lot. Of yeah, it's actually crazy. You know, it was um, less than a year ago that I was telling people, if you're looking in Lancaster or Chester, you're crazy, that there's nothing going on down there, that it's so rural and so out of the way that people aren't, they're just not buying down there. You could get great deals. Well, guess what? They're two of the hottest markets in our area now um, yep. because people are wanting to get to that rural area. Um, and one of the things that I think is really interesting is not only are they wanting to go rural, but these tiny house or teeny house things are popping up everywhere. Um, even, even York County, which is, you know, the county our office is located in, they used to not allow a tiny house or any square footage under 700 square feet. And they're in the process of changing that now and lowering that square foot count. So even the, the, the different municipalities are kind of catching wind of, Hey, you know, we gotta, we gotta look at changing some, some restrictions because there are too many people that want these things. And when we're talking tiny houses, we're not talking about tiny houses on wheels. We're talking about small stick built homes. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.